to Da Headlines, I'm Mary Lee. Thank you for joining us. Experiencing the worst flooding in 30 years, residents in Malaysia's east coast are still inundated with continuous rain and many remain at shelters while waiting for the water to recede. Next, we take a look at the various distributions volunteers held to make sure disaster survivors felt well taken care of. The highway is flooded and blocked. The military is not letting anyone through. Against all odds, city volunteers arrive at Pahang's terminal low to conduct their latest disaster assessment. There, they see that buildings and even electricity poles are submerged underwater. Right now, we need supplies including towels, feminine products, baby diapers, baby formula, blankets and mosquito nets. Meanwhile, earlier that morning, a group of Tsiji volunteers set off from the Kuala Lumpur Jin Siha for Kelatang's Gua Musangnu village to hold an aid distribution for flood survivors. As the supplies truck arrives, volunteers break into groups with some readying the supplies into packs, while others check the recipient's identity against the name list. Among the volunteers helping out are also several of the disaster victims themselves. Although my house isn't quite clean yet, I brought my entire family to help because it feels good to help one another in this difficult time. I'm very happy I can be of service. Over 2,000 residents have crammed into the school serving as the temporary shelter. However, with no electricity and running water, many people have not had a shower in four days. Food, household items and all my money was lost in the flood. We're staying at the school temporarily. I can't find a stable job, much less provide for my family. Thankfully, Tsiji volunteers are here to help with this subsidy, which we can now use to buy things to get our lives back. As it starts raining once again during the distribution, volunteers step up to shield residents with umbrellas. Next, volunteers arrive at the faraway Pulai village, which is known locally as the Chinese Hakka village. The overflow from the nearby river damaged the local water and electricity supply as well. Residents here farm for a living and basically all our crops have been destroyed. We don't know how to continue on. Much-needed supplies to residents from over 600 flooded households. In this problematic time, the volunteers' love and care is reaching those who need it most. On foot, city volunteers around the Moran area are bringing relief supplies as well as blessings from Master Denyan to residents at home. I hope everyone can take care of each other. Master Zeyan and the Tsiji volunteers will be here to lend you our support. The letter from Master Zeyan and Tsiji's relief supplies have touched the hearts of many affected. I don't know how to express how I feel. This is the first time I have experienced flooding, and you are here at my house giving me relief items. If this was from the government, I would have to apply for it first. But you came to my house to bring it to me without me asking. It's really unbelievable. Over 220,000 residents from the Malaysia's east coast have been affected by this historic flooding. The hard-hit areas are in the state of Pahang, with volunteers from Johor Bahru and Batu Pahat offering their assistance to victims in the Moran district. Earlier in Tamerlo, led by director of the Tsiji Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter, Jian Si Lu, volunteers ready daily necessities, dry goods and instant noodles for distribution. Overcoming rain-slicked roads, 43 Tsiji volunteers from Singapore reach Kwantan, Malaysia to lend a helping hand. With so many Tsiji volunteers mobilized to help, the survivors of the flooding in eastern Malaysia are sure to feel well supported in these dark times.